Welcome to the CES 2017 at the Tesoro Suite. My name is Timo Kusian. Thanks all around PC for visiting us. Um, I want to show you something super special. We have a sneak preview to a new product that will um, hit markets like in a couple months from now. It's not on the website. We don't send out any news for that. We only show it to media uh, partners that visit us uh, in the suite during um, CS. So this is based on the uh, Gram keyboard, a new keyboard. This is a Gram uh, UXL. Um, um, you People that seen the Gram keyboard, the Spectrum from Compotex, for example, will recognize it has a bit different. As the Gram keyboard usually had the low profile keycaps, um, the mechanical key switches. But this one's different. This one is brand new, like it's like it's a really, really new technology, new thing. It's the Tesoro optical switches used in that. So what is Tesoro optical switches? You don't know, right? Because I didn't know even before the exhibition, but it's a brand new thing. Usually switches have, mechanical switches have these two metal parts that go onto each other to give the signal, right? And it's an analog signal, it needs to be transported to a digital signal. And it's durable, it's cool, it's good, but it's the same since the 70s or so. It's the same technology, right? And there's problems with corrosion and stuff which can fuck up the switches and it's not that good anymore. So optical switches now, is a switch I put out warm for you is that those work with the optical laser beam. So the laser beam um, is cut and if you push the switch down, the laser beam goes through and this gives you the signal. Means this is a digital signal already, right? Does not need to be transported into a digital signal. Means the keyboard is actually much faster. So from the time you strike the bottom to the moment the signal is processed in the PC, it's twice as fast as normal mechanical switches. This is number one, and uh, number two is, um, you see I have one here in my hand, right? You can exchange <laughs> single switches if you want to. If you prefer to have the red one on WASD or the blue one, you can change if you want to. And, um, okay, obviously the blue ones came out first and the red ones a bit later. And uh, so you know what I'm talking about, say blue or red, it's actually the same same parameters that you know from the cherry switches that are known worldwide over. So the red one doesn't have the click sound and the blue one has the click sound, a little bit more of the tactical feedback and uh, it's a little bit, how to say, it's a little bit harder to push it. You know what I'm talking about. So optical switches, brand new worldwide from Tesoro, Tesoro optical switch in the Gram keyboard. I bet you will see that technology a lot. We're about amongst the first ones to put it out to the markets. The keyboard will arrive. I don't promise too much but we expect at the end of quarter two, maybe beginning of quarter three. On the price for that keyboard, I also can't say too much because it's not nailed down, but this is another benefit as there's no disadvantages to them. It's not even more expensive than the other switches. It will ra land around something like 139 US dollars, something like that. Tesoro optical key switches in the Gram UXL keyboard. Uh, Walt New, thanks for being here with us. Thank, thanks for looking at the keyboard and have fun during the show. Goodbye.